Totally. So um, with that said, how what advice do you give someone for how to prep on a design interview? Uh, it's, it's a tough one. Design interviews nowadays, there are so many applicants and probably nowadays it's totally a different approach because everything is happening on online, Zoom, most of the time, or blue jeans. Anyhow, uh, so first of all, understand the whole technology and the platform of uh, the interviews uh, process. Mm -hmm. uh, make yourself comfortable, go to the quiet place, you know, for the phone or for, you know, those are the basic things. But uh for the whole interview thing i would say that you know make sure that you understand the the uh how do you call it the soft skills the the behavioral questions and there are so many books on those right mm -hmm. uh, most of the time when you're applying for a company such as facebook or google they give you a link of different uh, icon iconic people in this uh topic and uh, if you if you search for them you can find their books 30 40 dollars get the books read the books and uh, understand that the, the whole behavioral question uh it's gonna be the same no matter what role no matter what job description it's gonna be the same and then whenever you go to the design interview considering that you already uh you you've done all the due diligence in order to come up with the right portfolio now you have to come up with the with the presentation get ready for the presentation practice practice with a friend wife girlfriend boyfriend uh practice beforehand whenever you go to this uh, interview understand the panel do some research on the company go to the glass store go to the website of the company and then understand who what kind of values they have uh, mm -hmm. what's their culture uh familiarize yourself with the interview questions if there are any and on, on glass store usually they have some uh and then uh, the interview panel is is going to be like a presentation and then we have the design exercise which is nowadays every company they do that mm -hmm. uh, it can be uh whiteboarding uh now it can be whiteboarding on the spot so basically they can open the whole whiteboard for you on zoom and then you have to come up with the uh, with, the, with, the, with the design with the, with the process in order to solve a problem so they give you a problem or they can give you an assignment and you take it home and you have a couple of days to work on it. So things like that you have to consider. And there are, again, there are so many books. I can I can provide the books later on if you want an email. If anyone is also, yeah, if anyone is interested, please feel free to just drop a note on the chat and then we'll go ahead and send it individually to you guys um, at the end. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think Glassdoor is a really good tool to kind of understand the culture and um, what the values of a company are. And, you know, having that opening of seeing what people are getting interviewed about. You shouldn't solely depend on that, but mm -hmm. it's a good resource to have and understand what kind of per perspective these interviewers are looking to get, yeah. uh, what they're asking, what they want, what they're yeah. trying to hint to come out from that when they're giving you tips when when you're talking to them. Yeah, and, and to add on that is like the whiteboarding is, again, is another uh, thing that you need to exercise because whiteboarding is a, is a different animal. Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta, you gotta be able to use your sharpies, and you gotta be able to think and talk out loud, things like that. Uh, another thing about the, the the interview, I would say that uh, make sure you have right question, smart, intelligent questions Absolutely. that you can ask the hiring managers or the panel at the at the end of your uh, your interview. So have a pen and a paper. And start writing you know uh, most of the time you're allowed to have those pen and paper and start writing and taking notes but one thing that you know you have to realize is like you are in the interview is not only them interviewing you but also is you interviewing them absolutely so just make sure you understand that and then if things are not in your favor and you don't like that just you know think mm -hmm. about that whenever you get the offer make sure you get the offer first but but you get the offer, just go back and you know, revisit uh, it just to make it the right decision. Exactly.